fog this morning over to a little bit of sunshine as we go through the day today. I got that first alert in place this morning to cover for this dense fog advisory. Just to draw that attention to the uh, impacts you could see on the roadways this morning. We'll be watching that, but also a first alert weather day in play for Saturday. Widespread rain, heavy rain, the possibility for some flooding, even a few severe storms will be possible. Well, let's talk about the fog this morning. Statesville, Lincolnton, Gastonia, Charlotte showing visibilities now in less than a quarter of a mile. This is what it looks like in Morganton dealing with that low cloud cover. A little bit of drizzle. Not hard to get that when we got the clouds really just sitting on the ground. So we'll be watching that and then we'll take you up to Davidson. Uh, there's I-77, a little bit of that fog, reduced visibilities in those areas as well. That's what we're going to be battling through the morning. So that morning commute, plan on impacting uh, uh, a little bit of fog as you head out the door with that sunrise uh, at about 645. Sunglasses today, not going to need them this morning, but as the day goes on, going to be a good idea to have them uh, at least close by expecting at least a little bit of sunshine for today. 63 in the high country, 72 in Charlotte, Statesville at 70, 73 Monroe as you head toward Albemarle at 73 as well. High temperature yesterday, 61 degrees. That forecast of 62 gets us within that three degree guarantee. So another donation. First alert weather day for Saturday. Rain picking up Friday into Saturday. Saturday going to be uh, likely with some of this rain coming down heavy at times, the possibility for some flooding as we go through the morning hours, especially on Saturday. But this all starts to move out as we head into Saturday evening. Now, this does come with a severe weather risk, level one and level two for the amount of severe storms that we could see. Heavy rain, gusty winds, and even an isolated tornado possible. So that's what we're watching for Saturday. That's why we have that first alert weather day in place. Otherwise, we'll start to see some sunshine working back in as we head into Sunday. As we enter daylight saving time, we've got to set that clock forward as